Musician Bruno Mars is being sued by a photographer. Now let's talk about it. As some of you may know, Bruno Mars used to perform as an Elvis Presley impersonator back in Hawaii whenever he was a kid. In August of 1990, photographer Catherine McGann says that she took a picture of a young Bruno Mars impersonating Elvis in Memphis, Tennessee. Fast forward to June 21st of this year, 2017, and Bruno Mars took that photo and posted it to his Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages as part of a Way Back Wednesday. He didn't give the photographer credit, and on Instagram it has garnered over 1,246,000 likes, 1,275 replies on Twitter, 15,000 retweets, and 64,000 likes. Because Catherine McGann, the photographer, says that she didn't give the okay and permission for Bruno to post those images, she's suing Bruno and his record label for damages. That same photo that she's suing Bruno about is currently up on the Getty Images website that you can purchase to use for editorial use uh, through Getty, and it has a credit actually to Catherine. In addition to her photo of Bruno, she actually has 1,500 other images up on the Getty website, many of celebrities that people can purchase for editorial use. Those images include Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Salma Hayek, Jennifer Lopez, Donald Trump, uh, Mark Wahlberg, many, many celebrities she's taken photos of before, and they're all up on Getty's website. Now here's my take on it. Personally, I think the photographer is actually in the right. How much should she be owed or how much will she get? That's all a question. But personally, I do think she is owed something because it's her photograph that's copyrighted. Now, I have had somewhat of a similar, similar situation happen to me. I took a photo of an athlete. Um, this time the athlete was actually at his job performing the sport and I posted it on either, it was like Twitter or Instagram, I had my watermark on it. And that athlete took the photo, cropped out my watermark and then posted it on their, uh, I believe it was their Twitter, no, it was their Instagram page. And then I, I think they probably posted on their Twitter as well. Um, like I said, with my watermark cropped out without giving me any credit or anything like that. Now this was the first time this had happened to me from this particular athlete, so I just kind of commented, glad you liked my photo. Uh, I might have said, you know, something along the lines of, um, you know, glad you like it, check out my other work, something like that. And I never heard anything back. A few weeks later, the same athlete did the exact same thing, cropped out my watermark, reposted my image under their um, Twitter and Instagram accounts, and this time somebody else that follows both of us took notice, saw that I posted it, and then a few minutes later they posted the exact same image, and that person actually commented and uh, started a thread with both he and I in the Twitter thread. I commented on that uh, Twitter thread, and the athlete didn't seem to like it, so they blocked me on Twitter. That didn't make me too happy considering I was being blocked for what felt like no good reason because they were the one who actually took the photo from me. So I contacted their PR staff and I said, if he wants to block me, that's fine. A little immature, but if he wants to block me, that's fine. But he has to take down my photo that he stole. Um, I then pretty much immediately got a response apologizing to me, saying that I was in the right and that, uh, that the athlete um, would take down the photo and then he would unblock me. They actually didn't say that he would unblock me, but I checked a few days later and he had unblocked me so hopefully he got through to them that uh, the PR department got through to the athlete that um, that they need to cool down what they're doing and stop stealing people's photos I don't know if it actually got through because they actually went on a bit of a Twitter rant saying how the photo was of them so they shouldn't have to take it down they should be able to do anything they want with it and that's just not the case it doesn't matter if you're in the photo as you know for the photographers that are watching this if you take the photo Generally speaking, you own the rights to the photograph. It all is determined by what's in contracts. And like in the Bruno Mars case, I don't know if there's any type of contract that said anything about Bruno owning the rights to it as well. I'm not sure how that goes. But generally speaking, if you're the photographer, you own the rights to it, not the person being photographed. Now, I'm not a copyright lawyer, but there's about a 370-page copyright law you can read online if you want. I kind of skim through it. It's kind of uh, rigorous to get through, but if you can, good job. I uh, am really jealous of you that you can read all that information and not get too bored. But if you want to go through and look at that, you can. Just Google search uh, copyright law and it'll probably come up. You want to make sure and go to the U.S. if you're in the United States or whatever country you're in. Uh, country that you're in, go to their website so you know you're getting the actual factual information. But all the information's out there, and it's pretty much widely accepted that uh, the person taking the photograph has the copyrights to the image. Now, copyrighted images can sometimes be used without permission if they're used for uh, editorial, such as news or education, if you're teaching, something like that. Sometimes you're allowed to use the image. 
um, but in this case, it wasn't used for those. It was posted to Bruno's uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts, which some say are not commercial use, but I believe they are commercial use. If you just scroll through his page or really any other um, musician or athlete or actor, or actresses, um, pages, Instagram pages, Twitter pages, they're all strewn with information on how to buy their CD or how to buy tickets to their next concert or their tour information or their movie information. So they're clearly putting out there um, information on how to make them money. They want you to buy their CD so that they make money. They want you to buy a ticket to their concert so they make money. In my mind, that's commercial use. So anything you post on that is being used commercially. In this case, Bruno's photo that Catherine supposedly took, um, which I'm sure she did, but uh, her use or her photo being used on his Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages, in my mind, is commercial use. I'm a Bruno Mars fan. I actually went to his concert when he was here in Indianapolis back in August, a few months ago, and he was phenomenal. It was an awesome concert, one of the better I've ever been to. So this is nothing against Bruno himself. Like I said, I love his work um, for many, many years. He's awesome, he's a great, and he seems like a great guy. But in this case, I do believe he's in the wrong. You just can't go taking photos that other people have taken that you don't have the rights to. Assuming he doesn't have the rights to them, he has his side of the story that I'm not sure has been put out there. Now, according to the photographer, he doesn't have rights to them. So if he does have the rights to them, then you can null and void all of this video because he can use them as well, but he probably doesn't, or at least it doesn't look like he has the rights to them. So if he doesn't have the rights to a photo, him, and any other actress, musician, singer, actor, uh, athlete, doesn't matter, or just a regular person, you can't legally take the photo and post it and do anything you want with it just because you're in it. That's just not the law. That's just not right. Um, that's like if, say, a book is written about you, that doesn't mean you can just take the book and you can just start selling it as your own book. It's not your book just because it's about you. So that's the way the law is. And some may, may agree with it, some may disagree with it, but currently, at least in the United States, that's the law. Many people that I've seen online, either in comment section or in audio form, doing interviews or radio or something like that, many, many people are coming to the defense of Bruno Mars, which honestly, I don't see in this situation. I don't know if people just don't understand the law or if they're just sticking up for them because they like him. Like I said, I like him as well, but I believe he's in the wrong. Photographers do this for a living. Many times, I've even had this happen to me where people will just want a photo and just just ask, you know, can I keep this? Can I have this photo? Um, can I print this out? No, I do photography for a living. I'm sure Catherine does it for a living. Many, many other photographers out there, some of you probably watching this, do this for a living. So you can't just go around giving away all of your photos, being your services. That'd be like if a tax, somebody that does taxes for a living, right? People don't just go up to them and say, hey, you wanna do my taxes for free? Well, no, they don't wanna do your taxes for free because that's how they make a living. That's how they pay their bills and that's how they feed themselves and their children and they keep a roof over their head. That's the way the world works. You have to make money. And in this situation, she took the photograph, the photograph's hers. If somebody else is to profit off of it, then she needs to profit off of it. So where do you stand on this? Is Bruno in the right or is the photographer in the right? I'd love to hear what you think below. As always, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.